Hi, hi, welcome to One Word a Day. I'm Sophie, your co-pilot into the universe of Chinese. Uh, continue on this journey. We talked about shi ru po zhu yesterday, which I kind of truncated the meaning of you know something the symbolic meaning of bamboo we use as the tendency of growing up really fast. So that's a kind of um, upward swing, um, fast growing phase coming up, that kind of tendency. And we just translate as unstoppable. Um, so today we are going to <laughs> continue with the character Pu. Yesterday it's breaking because it's groundbreaking and boo shoot. So breaking here is not a breaking, like it's happening, breaking right now. Um, it's the status of done deal is broken. So it's the broken jar and broken smash. What does that mean? Like it doesn't make sense, right? I will make sense for you. Okay, poor. What? Poor. Shri today. Um, we already got a poor out of the way, right? So, I mean, the beauty of Chinese, we don't have inflections. So we're not really limited in what, well, I guess we're not specific with what we mean because we, we, we don't have those inflections to let you know it's breaking or broken. Does it, is it happening or it's done? Um, like we don't have that in our characters. So we have to figure out in the context, right? So, I mean, but when we get used to the language, context-based meaning-making, it becomes really easy. Nobody will think it's a breaking jar in a motion of breaking, right? It's already broken jar. Okay, so jar, guan. Okay, we have the left side, which is a, a jar. So I guess in ancient, there are different um, measurements. It's, it's kind of like the cooking gear, in a Western kitchen, so delicately dissect different cup size, spoon size. It's really specific, right? So I guess this is my imagination. Like in ancient Chinese, um, we have a size gauge as well. So guan is, is a certain sized jar. It's not a small one. Later on, we will we'll show you more of the containers, but jar, when we hear jar, and later on we have gong and then i mean just just um roughly we have a sense of how big the container is so jar is not that big a lot of times we can use it do we can use it as food container um and okay on the right side is a sound maker completely structure something related to the bird right something related to the grass there are two mouths in the middle so we can we can Imagine what that could come from, type of things from nature, okay? It's the sound maker. Anyways, the left side is the, the jar thing. It's the kind of a clay material made container. Um, so that's what. And another pull, broken. Okay, the, the last word is the key today. It's an action word. It's a very strong action. <laughs> I use a smash. I'm not sure if it's um, strong enough. Uh, okay, on the left side, meaning maker, it's related to the hand. So this is a hand gesture simplified. Um, yeah, we still have five fingers here, right? We have five little knots to mean five fingers. Um, so this is a hand. When you see a hand symbol in a character, so it's something happening with your hand, right? Um, so shui indeed, it's not like you're kicking it with your foot. We do have a kick with your foot symbol there, but shui is something, some motion with your hand or your arm or upper body in general. The right side is the sound maker. I mean, it, it sounds shui. Okay, so together sound, shui, hand gesture, together means shui, smash. Um, and in Chinese, I don't know, like if Chinese shui and English shui are different, but Chinese shui would be like, hold something, like that motion. So that's the, that's the shui smash for us, okay? Um, I want to show you the character on the right side, even if it's only a sound maker, 
it came from a kind of beautiful structure, right? It's a symmetrical. Um, it got two flapping things on the side, uh, two circles. I mean, you don't normally see circles in Chinese characters, but perfectly drawn circles. So, okay, the word uh, originated of bird catching device. So I guess this is bird catching and we have two birds caught in the middle. That's a kind of bird's eye view looking down of this bird catching device and you have two birds inside captured already. That's uh, the, the original meaning of bird catching, but eventually uh, it pronounces shui. When we talk about peng shui, which was such a pop word in 2021, 2022 as well, the person who has, um, who was on the news, a uh, tennis player uh, has this uh, harassment or uh, kind of sort of abuse, right? Um, in China uh, was kind of like silenced, things like that. So her name, has Peng Shui. It's another character that pronounced as Shui. And that Shui means leadership, right? It's the, um, originated in the leader in the army. So it's like a structured organization, the top guy. The top guy who knows, supposedly knows the best what to do. Um, and that's Shui. And here, it's a different structure, it's bird catching, it's different thing, right? But uh, somehow um, this word eventually kind of has a certain connotation, almost like the leader. So we also have shui li. Instead of using the leader word, we use this shui and with li, li directly just lead. So shui li is a, almost like you can envision uh, uh, army, somebody is the, the head of the army and leading the, the troops somewhere. So that's the kind of shrieling. And eventually, of course, in contemporary meaning, it will be like somebody in a business and to lead the team to do something, right? Not the shui. And um, yeah, so we have shui. So po guar po shui, what has it mean? Sense making now of the four characters. We have the jar. So here I'm showing you the jar image. That's a kind of a guar we're talking about, right? So imagine this you have some jar, it's perfect container. And now you chip it off somewhere. It's no longer in its mint condition, it's broken in however big sense scale, right? And then po guar po shui, it means, oh, once it got a dent, even like it's not perfect anymore. And then your attitude toward it would, would be po shui. Po shui, <laughs> it simply means you don't really give a damn about the condition of the jar anymore. You start to use it really hard. And even if you may smash it to broken pieces, like completely broken, you don't care because no longer perfect. I think it's a perfect um, four character, very succinct way to capture human psychology. If once you break a certain, your person, <coughs> excuse me, first time happened, I hope it doesn't sound too bad here. Um, your perfect condition or your pursuit of perfect perfection right so once you break that you're psychologically like you kind of release a certain energy like you're no longer confined by maintaining the perfect status quo like it's such a heavy burden to be perfect somewhere and then your attitude start to change it's like you can smash it you you, you start to get into motion like you can really almost like you really start to live um normal without the confinement of trying to maintain a perfect jar there. Isn't that a you know, <laughs> smart way to express po guar po shui? Thank you for sharing this um, really good, uh, useful, human psychologically uh, proven true common experience, po guar po shui with me today and cash into the currency of thinking. Just one word a day. Sophie, see you another day.